Hey crypto fans, my name is Garrett and hey, welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today guys, we're going to learn all about iExec RLC from a complete beginner's perspective, all right? So guys, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content that I create, then hey, go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out and why not, right? Um, and also guys, feel free to follow me on Twitter here as well. You can find the link to my Twitter account in the description below this video. I like to talk about altcoins, NFTs, um, pretty much anything crypto related or day trading related on a daily basis so if you guys are into that sort of thing you might as well go ahead and give me a follow because i'm only going to continue to grow more and more long term because i'm not going anywhere so all right guys we're going to learn all about iExec rlc now for those of you who are new to my channel um this video is part of my alt altcoin education series i've got hundreds of videos in this series where i basically go through all kinds of projects from a complete absolute beginner's perspective and the reason why i do this you guys is because there's a lot of people out there who have really busy lives and they just simply don't have time to do their own research on various crypto crypto projects so they can listen to my videos to get a generalized overall view of what the project is all about so that's what we're gonna what we're gonna be looking into today you guys so iExec RLC or iExec um, is currently trading for two dollars and six cents it's got a market cap of 165 million right now at the time of me filming this video and a circulating supply of 80 million tokens okay all right now this has nothing to do with price though so we're going to jump straight to the project and see what the project's all about so we're going to go straight to their documentation real quick and i'm going to just read word for word uh what this says so that you know there's a lot of people like i said there's a lot of people out there who just simply don't have time to do research on themselves so uh, you know by themselves so they can uh, just uh listen to it get a general idea of what it's about so guys the iExec network connects cloud resource sellers with cloud resource buyers, um, encouraging an ecosystem of decentralized and autonomous uh, privacy preserving applications. This network aims at providing companies with scalable, secure, and easy access to the services, data sets, and computing resources that they need. iExec's technology relies on Ethereum smart contracts and allows for a virtual cloud infrastructure that provides high performance computing services on demand. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Um, at iExec, we believe in a future of decentralized infrastructure and market network uh, where big data and HPC applications, highly valued ad data sets, and computing resources such as, resources such as storage, CPU, and GPU uh, will be monetized on the blockchain with the highest level of transparency, resiliency, and security. You know, it's kind of funny, you guys. Um, you know, I just want to stop real quick. It's, it's kind of funny. You know, if you would have asked me 20 years ago, or I'm mean, sorry, not 20 years ago, maybe like 15 years ago, if you would have told me 20, 15 years ago that you'd be able to rent out your CPU storage or rent out your GPU, um, you know, that, I don't know, that just seems kind of funny to me, um, or monetize it, sorry. Um, I don't know if they're renting it out or whatever, but, um, you know, monetizing it, I would have never believed you because that just sounds extremely nuts. But here we are, you guys, it's 2022. And this is what's happening. This is what's going on. So this is pretty interesting. I'm loving this. Um, but anyways, guys, it will be monetized on the blockchain with the highest level of transparency, resiliency and security. I guess I already read that. I don't know why I read it again. Um, iExec strengthens applications running on Ethereum smart contracts, allowing for off-chain computation services and data sets on demand. Um, this is made possible by the iExec Proof of Contribution, or POCO consensus protocol, that validates off-chain com computations. Very interesting. I mean, I've heard proof of work, I've heard proof of stake. Proof of contribution, that's one I haven't heard of, but then again, I'm no expert, so whatever. Anyway, comparable to the oil market, the iExec marketplace offers a uniform and standardized access to computing resources regardless of the, their provider. So that's awesome. That is awesome. Uh, this is clearly something that people can use or that, um, you know, uh, other, other large entities can use um, at their own will. So that's nice to see. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. iExec distinguishes between three different uh, types of cloud resource providers, application providers, um, computing providers, and data providers. Um, we're not going to get into the nitty gritty of that stuff because that's not what this video is about. This video is about, you know, beginners getting a general overall idea of what the project is about. Okay. Um, I can do another deep dive video in the future, but uh, right now this is just for the beginners out there. So we'll check out their actual website. They have a very nice website. I really like it. You can really tell that they really take care of their website. They really take care of, you know, this is one thing that you have to look at when you are researching into different crypto projects as well. You need to look at those stuff like the overall website. If the website looks like trash and it looks like they didn't, haven't spent any time on it whatsoever, 
then the projects, the, the quality of the project probably isn't going to be to your standards, um, quite frankly, to be honest with you. Because, I mean, you can tell a lot just by how the website looks. I mean, if it looks nice, if it looks beautiful, um, if they've got a lot of, you know, if they've got a lot of uh, customization going on inside of it, if it just looks nice and clean and well put together, they're prob they probably care about their project quite a bit. So that's nice to see. Um, overall, you guys, though, on their website here, it says the iExec I marketplace connects resource providers with resource users, allowing anyone to monetize or rent computing power, data sets, and applications. So, guys, that pretty much says it right there. Um, so that's nice to see. Uh, the iExec Oracle Factory. So you can create your own oracles from scratch. If you're not familiar with what an oracle is, the best way that I can describe it would be... It's pretty much just it's it's pretty much a service that connects smart contracts with the outside world, pretty much you know something like that. So uh, it primarily feeds or primarily feeds information in from the world, uh, but it can also do the opposite as well. So uh, that's pretty interesting. But that's pretty much what an oracle is from a general broad perspective. I mean, there's a lot more to it, but that's just a broad perspective. Um, but you can create your own oracles from scratch in minutes and directly from your browser. Um, no specialized blockchain or coding knowledge needed. Um, so guys, the first decentralized marketplace for computer asset or computing assets. So this is for developers, for providers, and for token holders. Um, overall, you guys, this uh, definitely sounds like a project where it's definitely for people who are more technologically advanced. This is not something that your everyday average Joe is going to come to and be like, oh my gosh, I want to like rent a storage device or something like that because like that's that's not going to happen you guys that's just not realistic okay um this is mainly for technological techno technologically advanced people um who know what the hell they're doing okay i mean put it simple just be straight up and honest with you that's who it's for okay you guys i mean that's just that's just what it is um so let's check out some of these links and see where they go so we'll check out the enterprise marketplace products oracle factory marketplace marketplace didn't i just click on marketplace oh i clicked on the enterprise marketplace we'll click on regular marketplace uh, we'll click on rlc token build i mean i'm not a developer either are you probably so probably not going to uh check that out company uh we'll check out some use cases we'll check out roadmap um we'll check out the about us as well uh so yeah and then after that we'll go ahead and wrap this one up so guys what is this this is the marketplace so um marketplace not really much to see here unless you're um yeah not much to see here there's really not all right so especially for a beginner who really doesn't know what's going on um so honestly all right so now we're on the marketplace page the actual marketplace page the decentralized marketplace for computing assets so welcome to the first ever blockchain based decentralized marketplace for computing power data sets and i keep wanting to call it data assets but it's data sets and applications so it's a global market for computing assets assets um it's a marketplace where it offer it's a mar the market the decentralized marketplace is where our uh, where offer meets demand for community computing power data sets and applications okay we're just reading the same thing over and over that the same thing is written over and over throughout the whole website it seems um but overall you guys um that's pretty much what it is it's for people who are more technological technologically advanced can come and they can basically um rent you know rent data storage and stuff like that and rent you know all that technological cool stuff i guess you could say i mean realistically um yeah yeah i mean you can just you can i mean you can rent you rent computing power data sets and applications that's pretty much what it is from a general overall view um so that pretty much does it you guys um overall uh let's see here these technologically advanced projects like this um you know it's usually projects like this that kind of confuse me personally to be honest with you and that's the whole part of this whole you know whole project and whole me doing these kinds of videos you guys is i'm not technologically advanced all right i'm just not um you know i'm a normal regular person there's nothing wrong with it um and there's a lot of people like me who want to learn about projects like this it's just you know sometimes the project or the company doesn't do a very good job at explaining it to people who aren't technologically advanced and this is one of those projects where i'll be honest they don't do a very good job of explaining it to people who and the only people who are really going to come here and understand what's going on here is people who are technologically advanced so um it's clearly not for people like me personally and i'll be honest with you you know that's the whole point of this channel i'm an honest guy i'm not gonna sit in here and hype something up or you know feed you a bunch of bullshit. so um but yeah guys overall let's see what some use cases are um let's see here this is a roadmap i don't know why it took me to a roadmap um so i don't see many use cases here to be honest with you 
Um, yeah, I mean, just, I mean, overall, you guys, I'm, I'm not seeing what I clicked on. Um, I clicked on something for use cases, but I'm not seeing anything that lists any use cases at all. Uh, feel free to explore it and ask us if you have any questions. We'll click learn more and see where that goes, I guess, use cases. Um, so yeah, obviously we're not going to dig in here. I was looking for more of like, I was looking for like some actual like, okay, well, here's a header telling me, you know, what the use case is and a little description telling me about, about that, about that use case. Um, but it clearly that's not how they have things laid out here. So I don't know where to go from that. Um, and clear here, here we got a roadmap. It's just a Trello board. Um, so again, guys, this isn't very, again, to a beginner who wants to learn about the project, this really doesn't tell me much. Um, I mean, I don't even know how to use Trello, so I, I don't even know what to do here, to be honest with you. Um, normal roadmaps are like something that's built into the website and it shows you like, you know, what's going on and it's updated and stuff like that, but that's not how they do it here. Um, anyway, so what do we got here? So here's the About Us page. Uh, we are pioneers of cloud decentralization. They've got their entire team here, uh, real pictures of real people, so that's nice to see. I do like to see that. Um, a lot of projects out there, um, you know, you can really tell a lot by a project just by telling if they uh, use their real names and use their put their real links to their real socials and stuff like that. So this is generally, guys, this is generally really nice to see, to be honest with you. Um, but other than that, you guys, that pretty much, I mean, that's pretty much all I can really say about this project, to be honest with you, from a complete beginner's perspective. So um, that pretty much does it for this video. So I guess I'll go ahead and wrap this one up. Uh, but again, guys, before you guys leave, don't forget to follow me on Twitter here. You can find the link to it in the description below the video. Um, and also, guys, go ahead and take a minute to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a daily basis. And hey, guys, with that said, thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you all in my future videos or chatting with me here on Twitter.